Hello everyone and welcome to this guitar lesson. I hope you liked my version of the old John Denver song called Country Roads. Uh, I think it's a beautiful melody and I had never heard anyone play that as a solo guitar piece. And I thought I'd try it on the electric guitar and I like having the sustain from the electric guitar when I play melodies like that. So uh, I thought I'd teach it to you. And it's in the key of D. I tuned down the lowest string, the E string down a whole step to D. So now this is our new home. And it's nice to have that low D string uh, as our home, you know, instead of when you're playing solo guitar, I usually try to put it in a key that I have that I where I can use open strings and and in the key of D it's it's really nice to be able to have that low root, so I usually tune down that low string if I'm playing in the key of D. So anyway, I start off the song just by playing the melody from the verse, starting off with the harmonics on the lowest three strings. And then I play the melody down here. You know, so it starts. And then I play B minor. Just two two no two strings. Open D. And then I play. And that's just A string. And then I play. Hammer on on the second fret of the hammer on on the second fret of the D string, and then I, you can play a pull off. You can do whatever you want there, but I like to just use some pull offs, and then G. What I did there was I'm playing the G note here on the 5th fret of the E string, or D string now. And then I play 2nd fret on the A string. And then open D. Then I do the same thing in up, octave up, but I do this. So I kind of play that low D string and then I slide out from the 2nd fret to the 4th fret of the D string. B minor bar chord 
Slani and with my pinky to the seventh fret, playing this a B minor chord up here, seventh fret on the B string, bar on the G and D string here on the fourth fret, and second finger on the fifth fret of the A string. And then A, like a stair chord I call it, just like a bar chord but I'm using the open A. So I have this uh, chord. So I'm kind of playing just these three notes. And the open A. Hammer on on the 5th to 7th fret and then open E. And then G, and that's the 5th fret on the lowest string. And I go... So it's just G. Third fret, open E, and then I do this, which is a D chord. Third fret here, and then fourth fret here on the fourth fret uh, on the D string, <laughs> and that's the whole intro. So. I'm just playing these notes so and then I slide up and I play these two notes so it's on the seventh fret so it's just from this D chord I'm playing the melody and the bass goes between alternating between the E the lowest string and the D string like this Then on the A chord I go between the A and D string back and forth and play in this shape. So it starts and that melody you can phrase however you want. I do it like this. playing A playing this seventh fret open E to B minor still alternating between the A and D string here and then I go so that's the second fret and fifth fret up to this chord which is a G chord. Sorry, I got it tuned down. Like that. Like that. So we have this chord, G, and I play this like this. Thumb on the th fifth fret and an index here on the fifth fret of the D string. Ring finger on the seventh fret of the G and pinky on the seventh fret of the E. So, and the bass moves between the lowest string and the D string like this. What I'm doing there as I'm playing the G chord, I go. So that's an A major triad, but I'm playing that first and then the D in the bass, so. So I go from the A with the E in the bass, and then I make a hammer on on the seventh fret with my ring and pinky so and then it's just a go 
walking down to that G chord that looks like this. So. That's a D chord. It's this shape, like a C chord with but but two frets up. So that's the verse. I'll play it really slowly. Yeah, uh, the chorus, sorry. I'll play it slowly. So try to keep it as simple as possible. It's not very easy to play it because I'm playing a melody at the same time as that alternating bass. If you haven't done this style before, it's tricky to do this, but I recommend checking out our free lessons on our site called Fingerstyle Basics. That's where we learn how to get the thumb independence from the fingers. Uh, those are totally free. You can just go through these lessons and they will help you to get better in, in, in getting the thumb more independent so you can play different rhythms with your thumb and fingers. But anyway, I, I've tried to make it as simple as possible. Sometimes I pluck the strings in the middle like this. to the verse again and I just do the same thing but with an alternating bass line this time so playing this this shape so B minor alternating between the A and D string here and I'm playing the pinky pulling off on the 4th fret to the 2nd fret with my bar here, so... A G And what I'm doing there is I'm playing G here on the 5th fret of the, uh, the lowest string and I play So it's like the second fret on the G string here. And that's the D chord. So, and then I do it again. B minor. And then I go. Same as the intro, but with the moving bass line. alternating bass line I should say and then A G to D and then chorus and that's the exact same as before And there I go. Something like that. So and that's just to the bridge and the bridge is so beautiful I love the bridge and the chords it starts off on the B minor
So I'll do it again. So B minor to A. And what I'm doing there is that I'm alternating between the A and D string and I play this. So it's sixth intervals. Going to this D chord again. G, which I play like this this time. So it's a bar on the fifth fret and then a ring finger here on the seventh and pinky on the eighth. comes a B minor with the melody on top here on the second fret to C D to G to D to A7 So, the bridge again, B minor, A, G, sorry, D, A, B minor, C, go into that A7 I play these two notes and I use the index finger to get that F sharp so and I walk up six intervals again and I'm gonna kind of stop there and then I continue playing the melody again and then it's back to the chorus, playing the melody. part I'm playing the chorus just one more time you can play a double chorus if you want I think John Denver does that on the recording but I just played it one one time and the last time there and it's the exact same as before but in the end I play I kind of slow down So I play just a G chord, but then I add that second finger on the F sharp, and I play And those harmonics are just the 7th fret on the B, G, D, and A string. Adding it with a D chord. So that's it. I'm going to play the whole song now really, really slowly so you can check everything out. Remember, you can slow down the video as well on YouTube here. Here we go. So intro.
bridge. Let's see. guitar needs to be tuned again but anyway thank you so much for watching this video by the way when you're practicing when you're practicing this you can also if I would play this live I would probably put in you know add a, a part where it's open for soloing or improvising on it and of course this song is in the key of D you can play D major over the whole thing except maybe that C major chord but otherwise you can play D major and it sounds great I mean, I could probably, I would maybe do something like this, just, just add some licks like... You know, play, play through the changes in some way, try to make it interesting. Uh, that's what the next step what I would try to do and remember you can always use the major scale here it will sound great the major pentatonic as well and uh, yeah let me know if you have any questions if you need uh, some advice I'm always available at, available at proguitar.com on the forum or proguitar official on Instagram have a wonderful day everyone and I'll see you soon bye